What's up, YouTubers? This is Bobby Lee with a video on comparison for the Connect, the LG Connect right here, the LG Esteem, and the Samsung Galaxy Attain Metro PCS. All 4G phones, you know, all very good phones. All of them are. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and whoops we'll run a uh, browser benchmark we'll go ahead and open it up and we will uh, run a browser benchmark on the phones here, let me see if I can't get them all at the same time. I can at least get two at the same time. The two important ones. <laughs> so. And there they go. Looks like the Connect got a late start. But they're all very good phones. The uh, Samsung has a real... SD card, a Cat 3, or excuse me, SIM card, a Cat 3 SIM card. The LG Esteem has an artificial SIM card for data, and the Connect has a real SIM card as well, a Cat 3, which the Cat 3 SIM card allows you to browse on the phone and talk, or excuse me, browse the internet and talk on the phone at the same time. Excuse my uh, mix up. So, which you cannot do on the LG Esteem as of now. From what I hear, as soon as they release voice, voice over Leet, you'll be able to talk and browse at the same time on the Esteem. But until they do that, you cannot do it. If you can do it at all. It is Voleet ready though. Which Voleet stands for voice over Leet. Okay, the steam is done. Let's see what we got. 59,456 is the score on the steam. Which I'm recording in VGA on my other steam. I happen to have two esteems, one attain, and a connect. An LG connect. Which the Connect is my personal phone, of course. We got 30,322 on the Attain. And we got 50,241 on the Connect. Which is considerably lower. 9,000 lower than the Esteem. So, uh, it looks like the Esteem won the benchmark test. Let's see if we could compare it to the LG Optimus. Got 47,000. The Samsung Galaxy S2 got 35,000. And the uh, HTC Desire Z got 25,000. Okay. So there's that. Let's back up out of this. Let's go home. Home. Swipe. Home. Let me close out this app here. Let me go over here and close all of them. I might have had quite a bit of stuff running on the Connect. That's why it got a lower score. Or the LG could be just better. Uh, it does have a different SIM card in it. So Now here we go. Let's do the screens. The Esteem is all the way up right now. That's as bright as the Esteem goes. The Attain is all the way up right now. That's as bright as it goes. The Connect is nowhere near 
as bright as it goes but you see it already is as bright as the two so what we'll do is is we will just turn it all the way up real quick just to give you a bird's eye view see what I'm saying? of the brightness of them all and the screens the connect is way more brighter it has way more colors it's you know got a nova display as the two here the esteem and the attain have just the gorilla glass nothing special so let me turn that back down and the other thing I wanted to do is the quadrant do I have that on here yep. quadrant benchmark because it's the quickest one and I do not believe this one has it on it so let's go to the market real quick and download benchmark quadrant install all right so um <laughs> what we'll do while that's downloading we'll go ahead and start the Samsung and the connects right now this thing is installing so like I said they're all very good phones the esteem I used to have until I just got the connect a few days ago um, I could have lived my whole life with the esteem only reason why I had to go get the connect because I just really wanted it and because they had the dual core and the Nova display and all that and uh, it has some other capabilities that the LG Esteem does not have one thing that I do not like that I am missing is the LED light you see the flashing light that's just the sensor for when you are talking on the phone it goes off or whatever the connect does not have the LED the attain does not but the esteem has the little light that lights up when you get a text message a voicemail email or charging or whatever these two phones do not have that the esteem does which is a big plus um, big big plus I like that feature that's one thing I miss on the connect that the esteem has so this is uh, almost done after this, I'll run a couple benchmarks and or a couple speed tests and see what we get on the speed test. If you have anything else you want to see compared on them, you know, other than what I'm doing, uh, I'm just doing, I think, the three most important things, which is screen, uh, Browser benchmark, speed test, and phone benchmark. You know, let me know and I'll be happy to do it. Alright, the attain is done. The scores for uh, the quadrant are always so low though. The attain got 2,618. Alright, which is higher than the Samsung Galaxy Tab and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus S. Okay? So... If you was to run it in a 2-2 benchmark, you would have gotten probably like 57, 5,500. I would say between 5,000 and 5,500, I would say. Alright, the esteem is done. Which is amazing because the attain started way before. And the esteem got 1,933. I don't know if you can see that. This is a 100% stock Esteem 2. It is on the V ZVC version. It got 1,933. Whoops. The attain is now done. And the attain got 1,154. So you can see the difference in, you know, with the processor and all that. You know, the RAM, especially. Uh, this has 512 megabytes. This has 380 this has one gig so 512 380 one gig 
big difference in RAM in all devices. So, real quick, while we have some time left, let's go ahead and do the uh, speed test. Speed test. Why can't I find it? I do not believe it is on this phone. There it is. Speed test. And then I know it's not on this one. Okay. What I'll do is, I have these two on Wi-Fi. My esteem is on 4G, but here we'll just do it all together. I got four minutes left. Okay, so now we will put the esteem on Wi Fi as well, and then we will do two quick tests, real quick. We'll start that one, start that one. Let it go, go, go. And this is on Wi Fi. Which I got Bright House Wi Fi. Bright House Internet, which is horrible. As you see, I got, you know, 0 0.28 megabits download on Wi Fi. And my router is right there. That's how close I am. And this is Bright House Internet. So so what we'll do is we'll take the Wi-Fi off that. We'll let this one run its Wi-Fi. That one has to stay on Wi-Fi because it is not connected. But now we'll do a 4G on that one. Sorry for rushing, guys. I only got a few more minutes left to record time. And I'm going to get cut off. And then we will go real quick to change that to megabits, slide that up so it's even, and then we will, whoops, 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 whoops. And we'll reopen that. And the attain, we'll do another one on it. Open speed test. Open. Okay. So this one got 4.22 up download and 2 megabits upload. But here we go. We'll do them side by side so you can see. Three megabits download. This one got 272.75 download. So pretty close, pretty close. We'll do one more when they're done. And then come to our conclusion. 275 and 259. That's not bad. 2.75, 2.59. All three really good phones. They're great. Metro PCS is pretty good service. They're 4G's like WiMAX, Sprint's WiMAX. So, um, you know, it's it's very doable for the price. 4.47. And for some reason that one's not showing a download. But it got 4.18. You can see the newest one is 4.18. But there it is, YouTube. Uh, thank you. The if you got any comments, comment. If you want to see anything else, let me know. If you want anything else compared, let me know. Subscribe, ask questions. Thank you very much. Thanks for checking out my videos. This is Bobby Lee with the Connect, the Esteem, and the Attain. Thank you.